Okay, so there is the famous, infamous Simba dog. There he is. You know, it is pouring rain outside now, so I've had to fold up the video outside. I can't stay out there for very long. I assume that the Matrix people also might want to stay inside, although if you've got a car, it doesn't probably make too much difference if you're part of the car, so-called car matrix or car system or whatever it is that goes on in um, Sydney type of thing. I don't know. But um, that's Simba. And he cannot go for his walks now down the road. He's lucky if he can make it down to the corner. He could have probably outpaced me a few years ago, but now he can't even make it hardly down to the corner. He's outlived the usefulness of the Matrix. You know. And yes, we do have some um, grassy type mat there, which we got a few days ago. Oh, and Big Boy has come up to me and donged me. Oh, I better not put it on him. But, um, he's donged me. You are not getting up on my chair, big boy. No, you're not. Come into the kitchen if you... Come on, come into the kitchen if you want to be seen, if you want to do another possessed cat video. Excuse the rubbish, but that was meant to go in the bin, but it did not because the Matrix sidetracked me. So, big boy. So, oh, I'll try to avoid the dirtier parts of the kitchen. I'm trying to get Big Boy to get up on the bench for you. I think he's coming. He's a big cat, but he's still come. Oh, I shouldn't really point it at him too much because um, because the light might be too bright in his eyes. I should have it round the other way, but I can't do that. Um, oh, dear. Oh, is he... I'm going to do something here and be honest, okay, as best I can. See, that's the cat, right? But you will see um, glowing eyes. Now, this is not evidence of possession. But in a funny kind of way, it is, okay? But that is only because I think a picture does tell a true story. But... If I was to be honest and put he's got his shop going, but I don't want to put the light too much in his eyes because it might um, bother him a bit. But Putty um, is a possessed cat um, and he's got his late night supermarket going again. Um, there we go. What would you like to buy, Putty says. Hmm. We have different items each day or within a few days. We change them around a little bit because we actually do use them. Um, but, Putty, I don't want to point that too much at him because the light might bother him. If I See, if you have it around the other way, that doesn't happen. But I'm just going to get back to the lights, okay, in the eyes. Now... A few nights ago when I filmed the car pulling in and the mobile went straight off afterwards when the other cat that lives down in the same house as Putty although they are outdoor cats come up and I did not have the mobile pointed at the cat but the eyes were glowing and see how Putty moved his foot Puddy, could you say something honestly? Are you a possessed cat? Move your little foot if you are. There we have it. And he said yes, there you have it. Hmm.
You are not the original big boy cat, are you? You are a what? Rudely spelt what indeed. Big boy cat. My original big boy cat. If I had the photos here, I could show it, but I can't get the photos up on the TV. I can't retrieve them at the present time. Maybe at some time in the future I will be able to. Not on my own, I'll need help. I don't know how to operate all these things. That's an unfortunate coincidence of the Matrix, isn't it, Putty? Is it a coincidence? Or is it not a coincidence? Is it, Putty? But either way, I'm looking stupid here. The cat's making me look stupid, aren't you, Putty? If you want some chicken, when the video is finished, he put his foot up, he does, perhaps you could be a little bit more um, cooperative for the video, do you think? Or do you think you'll get the chicken anyway, regardless of whether you make a fool of me or, or, or say what you know to be so? Yeah, well, you're not wrong there. You will get it either way, but... But it would be nice, you know, you could show some sense of something, but that's perhaps too much to expect from something that is not real life. Now, I may not put this video out, but I can't hold this mobile very good either. Now... See, Putty there has a tail, right? Now, this may not be coming out in the video because it's very hard to show. See, Putty has a tail. Ah, you moved your foot. See how he lifted his foot up? Because he knows what I'm going to say. Is that the original big boy cat's tail? Does that look exactly like the original big boy cat's tail? It doesn't, does it? And maybe you don't know what the original big boy cat's tail looked like. You should. Mm. Yeah, you're showing it there, aren't you? That is not my original big boy cat's tail. Now, okay, so I didn't scrutinise big boy cat a great deal when I knew him for years and years because I didn't think there was a reason to. But I know that big boy, the original big boy, he doesn't want you to see. He's jumped down because he doesn't want you to see. Not that he, not that you can see because, you know, I don't have a comparison, but I'll just move around here. It's very difficult filming animals at the best of times, but that tail, see there, if I can get it in, see how it's got white all on the top? Look, the big boy cat, that is not his tail at all. The big boy cat had a tail where I'll try to show you when he moves how the top part of it went all the way round. That part underneath there where he's showing you where it's all white. That should be black rings like circling his whole tail and it is not. It only circles on the front but it stops underneath. Also, see how it's all muffled and not right? 
also the you know it's very hard to explain I, I need voters really but I know you know I know because I know the cat and the original big boy cat's tail was had black so in fact it was actually perfect you could say like perfect markings like the whole of his tail was just black and white stripes you could say almost but it didn't look like stripes I don't want him to dong the phone out because he will if he can don't forget these are possessed animals possessed animals possessed animals This animals. He actually looks as though he's crying there. He actually looks as though he's crying. Perhaps in a way he is. Sometimes you feel like crying for them because they have no will of their own. They're not a life of their own even. They, um, they're, you know, it's not even their own bodies. I think the dog moved too just then. This is the same thing. When they move, that's an acknowledgement of what I'm saying. That's how you read a possessed animal. When you're dealing with possessed people, as is most of the population now, I think, they communicate with you verbally. So it is very hard to see possession. But with an animal, they don't communicate verbally. So when they're communicating, it's only through movement. Um, that's a scar on the dog's leg, which the dog did have and was caused by excessive licking. Um, when he first came to live with me, it was um, uncontrollable to where he would lick parts of his body and create wounds, and if you didn't prevent him from doing it, he could just um, really cause great injury to his... Um, I won't go into it, but it's that is possession. In my opinion, it is um, an entity that is inside an animal causing even bodily harm to its own body because its aim is to cause distress to a human being because that is what the possessed entities are really here for. They are here to... Um, cause havoc, distress and bring human beings down to a low frequency. That's their aim. That is the aim of all these entities that are possessed, that are possessing people and possessing animals. The dog is moving his arm slightly there. That is their aim. See the movement there, it twitching? Can you see it? Is it coming out? Is that the aim, Simba, of these negative entities? Can you see it? Oh, I know that people who don't believe in possession will say the dog is old and twitching and nervous or this or that, and that is true. Just as the cat over here, who, by the way, has taken my seat once again, even though I have put a new covering on the top of it there, which is rather naughty. See how that cat's got the striped tail, right? See how it's striped? See how it's black and white stripes? Can I point that out without going too close? Am I getting it in? Those stripes on the original cat were absolutely perfect. 
not like this one where some of them, see how some of those are muddled in with one another, how they're almost merging? And they're not, cons they're not consistent all the way up to the end of the tail either. They go into a black merging at the end of the tail. This was not the original big boy cat. He had perfect tail with perfect markings from the tip right to the top. And they were all symmetrical and all the same. This ones are all different. See how they're merging? In fact, it doesn't even look like proper stripes. And the tip was smaller too. Also, the, the original cat never curled his tail round like this one does. And there's a slight bent almost halfway down. The original cat always kept his tail straight. And it was completely symmetrically marked with the stripes all the way from the tip with a little black tip on the end all the way up to the end of the tail. He's trying to hide that from you for this video. But that was the case. Of course the fur on this cat is also totally different as I've mentioned I think in another video. In fact other people even noticed it where it got really soft and fluffy whereas the original cat had, had indeed soft fur but it wasn't soft and fluffy and extra thick like this one. And don't get me wrong there, this cat is not a patch on the original cat even though it's a beautiful cat in my opinion but it is not the same as big boy cat at all big boy cat didn't have the soft fluffy fur but he had perfect fur normal cat fur and it was um see how he's got up it said normal cat fur and other people noticed this too relative noticed the 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 fact that this cat's fur is thicker and so much softer and fluffier you know and and said that the reason this happened was because I was feeding it this top line cat food actually I don't feed the cat that same cat food now anyway he mainly gets fresh chicken and somehow or other the fur is still the same um, there are other things too other anomalies now what I'm going to do here and I don't even know if it's going to come out or if it proves anything Take a look at, is it coming out? Take a look at the cat's white chest. It always had a beautiful white chest, okay? Now what I'm going to challenge anyone who's watching this video and who has watched the other possessed cat video that was done two months ago or whatever. I can't remember the exact date. Tell me something that I noticed too. See the white chest there? See the white chest? Where is the parting down the middle of the white chest that is 